So you can see the sprays, the spray line, the haze line beyond these billowy moisture clouds. Um, these are possibly artificial moisture clouds. The sprays tend to absorb the moisture in the air off the coast here and may form these billowy style clouds. You can see they have a dark tinge to them. Um, that dark tinge reminds me of coal ash. I don't know about you, but that's what it reminds me of. <clears throat> and so once again, we see the sort of haze beyond the billowy clouds along this sort of ridge right here. That haze it is the sprayed material they are using to absorb the moisture and uh, move it where they want it. They can move these clouds by um, heating or cooling the, the ionosphere to pump the moisture clouds wherever they want to. Basically it's it's the control of the jet stream. And so yesterday we had a sort of really sort of uh, reddish orange sunset. And you see the sun, the sun hasn't been on us all day. So it's trying to poke through right there in the center and and we've been having these dark clouds pretty much on and off all day. Now we have we have a wind. It looks like about a uh, 25 mile an hour sort of uh, west wind coming from the northwest and then once again we see the the haze beyond the billowy clouds from the geoengineering and so these materials are toxic to the human being basically through the patents they talk about using aluminum um, and sulfur, etc. These materials accumulate in the body. You may not immediately feel the effect of them, but over time you will feel the effect of these materials in your body. This is, these are nanoparticulates. These are dust, minute dust particles that are so, um, minute you cannot see them with the naked eye and so they can be absorbed directly through the skin so if you had the proper gas mask or particulate mask they could still be absorbed through your skin and so the basic theory behind this is that <laughs> these materials will accumulate in the human body and they will be able to be manipulated by the radio frequency in the Gwen, the cell towers, the um, satellite radio frequency transmissions to produce any effect they desire in the human body. And so we can see one going here uh, spraying along in these, uh, basically uh, over the top of the sprays, the existing sprays. And this is typical of what they will do. Oftentimes I will hear them over the thick cloud cover spraying um, sprays over sprays. Basically they're keeping us in the dark 
about the whole spray, spraying program, they would not want you to know that they have such control over you, your environment, the air you breathe, the thoughts you think, etc. We were the first ones to fly into hurricanes for the purpose of modifying them, uh, if you will. That was Project Storm Fury. I began to, to be extremely confident that we could, could do whatever we, about what we wanted to with a hurricane. The Project Storm Fury had been going on since 1961, and they had already done, or had done two experiments, one in 61 and 63. Well, by 1964, when I was there in 1964, I wrote the plan and, and uh, started to have a track and a mission for every flight that was uh, on the hurricane cloud cheating experiments. So we had documentation for everything. Operation and product current fear are very positive. His report said that we claim they should consider now if a hurricane heads straight towards Miami. So for the past four years, three, four years, I've been documenting the local geoengineering action here in Northern California and I've presented all this information to all the elected officials they do nothing about it they should be held accountable for the sickness uh, in California we've had record deaths uh, because of the flu uh, this winter and so there's something in the air it's affecting the health of a lot of people and so tell your friends and let them know their plan to dominate the skies the environment etc with the stuff they are spraying in our air. Every breath you take affects you at this point. And so that's your geoengineering report for today. God bless.